Sometimes we might see a person online or meet them in real life and see where they are and how they are now and not imagine how they were when they were really young. On the other hand, maybe you're really young and you're feeling that you're not in the place you're meant to be and you're not sure of how your life is going to unfold and maybe you feel like a failure because your friends seem to know how their life is going to be later. Well, let me tell you this. Right now, at almost 55, I run a profitable business called Viewer 50 Media. I'm a brand ambassador, a YouTuber. I've published a number of books, almost 20, with traditional publishers. I have a wonderful blended family. I have three kids. I married the love of my life. I pretty much lead the life that I want to lead. I feel good about myself. I take care of myself. Life is good. But when I was a teen, I could have been voted least likely to be popular or excel at anything in life. When I was a kid, I was skinny. I was a nerd. People laughed at me. They would call me stick legs. My ears stick out, so they would call me dumbbell. My grandmother would uh, put my hair in a bun and I felt really bad because I didn't want to hurt her feelings. So I let the kids call me dumbbell and I would cry every day. I hated going to school because um, I never knew what I was going to encounter when I got there. Having good grades was not fashionable when I was a kid, so kids made fun of me. And I sometimes tried to be a little not so good at school because I wanted to blend in and be popular. I also had boys that I liked reject me. Um, you know, I felt alone. I, th that's actually why I started uh, writing uh, because I, I was a wallflower. There was recess back then, like a long recess, and I hated it because I didn't have anybody to play with or talk to and they wouldn't let you sit in the recess. So I had to find something to do. So what I did was I read books. Uh, standing against a wall at the school and that's what I did in the recess and sometimes it was like 45 minutes and that's what I did. I remember there was a kid that would take my lunch and throw it away. It, it was not fun. I mean school was hard and I had very poor self-esteem. I didn't think much of myself. I also wasn't quite sure of what I wanted to do in life. I somehow wanted to be a writer because my dad and my grandfather were writers and I actually did become a writer. My dad wanted me to become a marine biologist and I didn't finish college because I had an eating disorder so there went that. And I thought I was a failure. I didn't think I would come to anything in life but it turns out that I did and that I managed to be an entrepreneur of my life and live off of what I love which is communicate and, and right and well now I'm doing videos because that's the evolution of communication but so here's the thing some well a lot of years ago like 10 years ago when Facebook came around I started befriending people from school from school from many years ago and the kids that were popular back in school who seemed you know like the cool kids the ones that I wanted to be like the ones that I wanted I wanted them to like me a lot of them, just by looking at their pictures and interacting with them, they were telling me like, you know, their life was miserable. They had maybe gone to college, gotten that degree that I didn't get, and now were stuck in some awful job that they hated. They had lost hope, which is the worst part because you can have like a bad time in your life, but the worst thing ever is to lose hope no matter what hardships you go through. Because I've been through a few, like unemployment and divorce and being poor and stuff like that. But hey, those things happen. And But if you lose the hope that when you feel old and you feel like this is it, then that's it. And this was happening to, I repeat, to the kids who were popular, to the kids who were excelling at everything and looked like their lives were really together. I still follow some of them online. It makes me really, really sad for them because they've, it seems like I've lived my life in reverse. I started out not so well, and then I bloomed later on in life. But then there are other people who might peak early, and they peak in high school, say, or college, and then everything goes down from there. It's not always the case. So my message, if you are young and feeling confused or bullied or not okay about yourself, or what are you gonna do? I'll tell you what I tell my kids is that it is okay. When my 17 year old last year at 16 told me that a lot of adults 
were appalled that she didn't know what she was going to do later in life, even in college. I was appalled that adults were appalled that she didn't know what, what she was going to do. I mean, it's normal. It's normal and you don't have to have this one thing in life that you're going to do and that's it and that's that's I'm 55 and I've done a lot of different things in life from being a fitness instructor I've made a living with words all my life but it I didn't start out writing I started out interpreting English and Spanish and translating English and Spanish because I'm bilingual but it wasn't my passion I tried advertising I tried production in in video I've also taught writing classes and creativity classes. Eventually, I started writing for publications in my 30s. I published my first book when I was 30. Then I went on to work as a journalist in my 40s. And then I reinvented my entire career at 45 and brought it online because everything was changing. And I still don't know. Like this year, I turned 55, I will be starting my yoga teacher certification. If you go to Instagram and follow me at Lorraine C. Laddish, you will see what I do. And anyway, so it's never too late. Honestly, if I could go back in time and tell myself something, it wouldn't be to do this or not make that mistake or do something else. It would be simply to know that I am enough. That if you're 16, if you're 20, if you're 30, if you're 40, you are enough. You are okay the way you are now with your confusions, with your not knowing, because life is made of experiences. So what I would really tell myself, especially as a teenager in my 20s, it would be, it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to know exactly what your life plan is going to be. It will. You will make a plan and it will unfold in a whole different way. <laughs> and sometimes you will make a plan and follow it and realize, that's not the plan I wanted. That's not the plan I want now. And then you'll have to start over. And that's okay too. Try different things. Follow your heart. And know that maybe there's not just one right answer. My three teens, I am giving them the tools so that they have different experiences. So that they are equipped to make decisions according to who they are. My 14 year old, my 15 year old, my 17 year old are all different. So to tell each of them this is what you have to study and this is how you have to study it and this is how it needs to be is futile because really they all have different abilities, they all have different interests, they all have different ways that they want to approach life and I don't think there's a right or a wrong way to do it. I think the main thing in life is to be true to yourself, treat yourself really well to especially know that, know that you are enough. You're enough with your doubts, with your insecurities, and know that even with age and with time, you might not lose those insecurities completely, and that might be a good thing because it keeps me humble anyway. But you will look back and you will say, oh goodness, I did it. I was this young, confused person, or I was this older, confused person, then things got a little clearer. So really, don't measure yourself up against your peers, no matter how young or how old you are, you are enough. I don't have a book about being enough, but I have a book called Reach from Single Mom on Welfare to Digital Entrepreneur, which even young people have told me has inspired them to pursue their dreams because if somebody older than them can do it, well, hey, so can they. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, like the video, share it with your friends, and see you next week.